Okay, so today I'm just going to go back over the um, biker jacket, how to create a biker jacket. And so the first thing I'm going to do is to draw the silhouette. I'm going to do this video in two parts. So I'm going to draw the silhouette first. And let's have a look at this a bit closer. I'm going to draw the silhouette. All the trims details I'm going to do in, the, in part two so you can actually get that finished. But the first thing we need to do, like we do all um, templates that we use if we're tracing over a garment, is we need to create a new layer because we don't want to um, affect the template that we have. So you can go to Windows, then select Layers, or you can just press um, L and that will bring up a new layer, that's Command L. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slightly fade out this background or this image because I want to be able to see my line a little bit better than I would do if it was 100% um, at 100% capacity, opacity. So I'm going to double click on my layer and I'm going to keep my layer one. Actually, let's change it to template. Or you can keep it as layer one. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change it to template here. And I'm going to select dim to images. That automatically comes up. You can take it to 50 or you can take it higher. It really does depend on you and how much you want to see. And also it depends on the image that you have. So this image is quite light anyway. So I'm going to go to 60. And you can already see straight away how much it's been dimmed down by. So I'm going to give myself a new layer. So I'm going to go to the drop down box at the side of the layer dialog box and select new layer, layer two. So I'm going to go okay. And so now anytime or anything I do draw on this um, artboard will be on layer one. I'm not going to split my items or my collar or my sleeve on a separate layer. I'm going to try and keep it all in one layer for ease and that makes it easier when you're when you need to amend it or if you give it to somebody else to amend it makes it more user friendly so I'm going to take off my fill so I'll be able to see what I'm drawing underneath and we're going to go a bit closer so the first thing I'm going to do with my pen tool is I'm going to draw my front panel um, it would help be helpful if I gave myself a ruler so I'm going to do command R and I'm going to put a guide where the center front is. Now this is a um, has an op asymmetric opening. So actually the center front would normally be where the brake line is, but sometimes as this garment's been worn, we're not going to use that. We're going to use the back neck and the label to identify where the center front is. So you can see I've gone halfway between the label. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock my layer. So if I do right click, um, not my layer, lock my guide. So I'm going to do right click lock guide and straight away my guide changes the colour. It's actually going to be blue in a minute. If I just refresh the screen, you'll see it's gone to blue. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start drawing. I'm going to do one side first of my jacket and then I'm going to reflect it. So giving myself a stroke colour, which is going to be black in this case. And I'm going to start from the shoulder. I'm going to follow this line. I'm going to try and get as close as possible to the jacket. Um, because that's the whole point of it, really. If you get a, a image that you want to trace around, um, you can always start off with drawing it as it is. And then you can adapt it to your own design quite easily. Now, I've stopped here because when I get to the hem... You can see it kind of goes up. Because this drawing is a flat technical drawing, we need to make sure that when it's flat, this, the hemline would actually be straight. So I'm just going to hold my shift key and straight away my line is straight. And I'm going to hold my shift key up to go straight down the, up the side seam. And I'm going to come up to the underarm. Now when I get to the underarm, here we have to remember again, the underarm is actually worn but it needs to have some sort of curve in it. It shouldn't be flat. So I'm going to click on that line. As soon as I clicked on it, you'd see there's a, let me do that again so you can see. As soon as I hovered over the that white point, the last point that is, you'll be able to see, let's go a bit closer. You'll be able to see there's a white point there. So when I hover over it, my cursor, my pen tool has a circle, 
which means that that line is now, that shape is going to be now a complete shape. I'm just going to go back and create this armhole. So I'm going to take my anchor arm and I'm going to make sure that the lower half of the armhole is slightly curved. And this section here is not past the um, shoulder seam. Now it kind of needs to be near enough to 90 degrees, otherwise you get a really peaky um, shoulder um, and that's not correct either. So I've got rid of some of the armhole shape here. I'm going to slightly take it back a bit. Okay, so it's got a bit more shaping in than it would normally have, which is perfect. So the next thing I'm going to draw is I'm going to draw the sleeve. So what's going to happen is I'm going to draw it as a separate shape. I'm going to come in slightly, and the reason why I'm doing this is so that I don't want to touch this original front panel. If I do, it will try to join it to that line, and I don't want to join it. I still want to keep it as a separate shape. So I'm going to carry on. Just I've, You can see I've clicked slightly inwards. And I'm going to come down here and draw the arm. Now, when I get to the arm, I want to make sure that it's not too muscly. Um, ideally, it's better to draw something like this on a croquis or a template. I'm just showing you how to do this for this exercise. So again, I'm just going to do it as close to that shape as possible. I do, as I said, need to bear in mind that this is a flat garment, so the hem here will be straight. So I've held my shift key. When I get to my arm now, I need to realize that this is still worn. You can't see the body, but it has actually been taken, maybe photoshopped. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this line relatively straight. Oops, let's go again. I'm going to keep this arm relatively straight. I'm not going to follow too much of that curved shape because, as I said, it's a flat garment. So again, hovering over the last point, you can see there's a circle there. I'm going to click on that point. Let's do that again. I'm going to click on that point. I just want to make that a bit curvier, so I'm going to click and drag so it's a little bit curvier. Now the main things I need to realise and make sure is that my armhole and my underarm of my sleeve, so my underarm and my sleeve, need to be matching because obviously those two parts are sewn together and they are aligned when you're stitching. So what I'm doing here now is I'm just smarting this image up. I'm going to put this right on the armhole where it should do it should be, but I'm always making sure that the this part of the sleeve is always going past the armhole. So there I've got one side of my garment done, I need to do the collar obviously, so we're going to do this separately and I'm just going to show you, going closer. So I'm going to start from here, I'm going to do my shape. Now you can see I've gone slightly past intentionally, I'm going to come back here and close my shape. Now I'm going to get my white arrow tool and I'm going to correct this. I'm going to make sure that it's a line. Now I do this again, as I said, if I go directly onto the outline of the body, it will try to join it to that line and I need to keep these shapes separately. So that's the lapel. Now we're going to draw the collar. Again, let's do that. Come down. See, I'm going on this line, but I'm not touching it. I'm getting ever so close. And then when I get here, I need to make sure that I have a nice curve. Following the curve line there. I'm going to come back up and close that shape again. Okay. Let's just move this up a bit. Okay. We have got a lapel here, so I'm going to add that in. Um, and I'm going to do that as a flat shape. So I'm just using this as a flat shape, and that's that. So as I said before, the lapel that we see in the photo, that's actually what it would look like if it was worn. So we need to actually keep it quite flat when we're drawing the flat drawing. Now the last thing I need to do before I do anything is I need to make sure that things are in the right order. So at the moment, my lapel, or sorry, my collar is going um, underneath. So this is underneath the, the epaulet. So I'm going to do my get my black arrow tool, I'm going to right click and I'm going to say, 
I'm going to say arrange to the front, so bring to the front. So when I fill that shape in, it will cover the epaulette, which is what I want it to do, because the epaulette actually goes underneath the collar. The next bit I'm going to draw on here is this tab. Okay, so I'm drawing my tab in, and I'm drawing that as a shape as well. So I need to bring that up a little bit. Just to make sure that the shape is representative. So I'm going to straighten that off and put that in the center. And again, just making sure that this collar, again, I'm just going to just double check. I'm going to make sure that's bring to the front because I don't want that to be covered by um, this tab that we've just drawn. So again, I get my white arrow tool and just being really accurate, making sure it's a nice line and making sure it's all lined up. So I have that side completely finished. Um, I have got a belt loop to do and I do have a pocket to put on, but I'm not gonna put it on this side. I'm gonna do that at the end because if I reflect that image, there's no pocket there. So I'm not going to do that at the moment. What I am going to do though, is I am going to add any stitching that needs to go onto this garment. So I'm gonna do my stitch line. This is, 0 point, this is a 0 0.5 centimeter stitching around the um, lapel. So our stitching we always do, um, let's get our stroke, so go to windows, stroke. Our stroke we always do as 0.5 or 0.25. We click the dash line and I'm going to do a setting um, for the stitching as one by 0.8. Okay, so now I've got my stitching on my lapel. And again, I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to add stitching around my uh, collar. And I can always go back, see how I'm not happy with that curve there. I can always go back with my white arrow tool and adjust that line to be better. Now, if I'm worried that my stitching, this stitching and that stitching is not the same, all I need to do is get my black arrow tool, go to my color picker tool, which is here, and just click on that stitching and it makes sure that the setting you can see is the same. You don't have to do that all the time, it's only if it looks slightly different, you can just double check. So again, I'm just coming here and just making sure that everything is aligned, looking nice and clean and precise. Because with the technical drawings, it's really important that these things, let me rearrange this, that these things look really precise. So again, I've got my epaulette, I'm gonna come along and I'm going to, I'm gonna leave the stitching on there, I'm going to leave it without, but I'm going to come to my centre front um, and I'm going to, I'm gonna leave the stitching off there as two, because I'm gonna add that at the end. So we've got stitching around our collar, we're just gonna add it at the cuff. Again, this is what I mean. I can add my stitching here by clicking my um, dash lines and 0.5 and so we've got that and then I'm going to just do my stitching around my armhole so I'm going to come around here do my stitching I don't know if you can see the stitching on the armhole doesn't go all the way around so I'm going to stop here because I think that's probably where it is and just to just go back and reshape it and make sure that it's a nice line so what I need to make sure in this sense is definitely that my sleeve is behind. So I'm going to click on my sleeve. I'm going to do right click and I'm going to say send to the back. Okay. So in this case, I know that my stitching is going to be in front on my armhole and on front on my cuff. Now the last thing, actually let's put some stitching on here as well. Oh, I will leave it actually. Let's leave that. Let's not get too fancy and carried away. Okay, so we've got one side of our garment here. What we're going to do now is we're going to get our black arrow tool and we're going to select everything we've just drawn. We're going to get our reflect tool. So if we go to our reflect tool down here, the shortcut for that is O. If you select it on the toolbar, it's just the same. So if you click on here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to press my Alt key, my A-L-T key, and I'm going to click on the center line here. 
And as soon as I do that, my reflect dialog box pops up. And then I need to make sure that it's going to reflect the right way, right axes. So it needs to reflect that way. So it's vertical, as you can see from the picture here. And I'm going to do preview so you can see exactly where it's going to be. And then I'm going to select copy. And now I've got two halves. Now I'm not going to worry too much that it's a um, little bit over here because basically I know that my drawing is going to be um, symmetrical in this sense. Okay, so once we've done that, we just need to make sure that we're going to select this half of the garment, so everything that's on this side. And let's see if we've got our stitching as well. Oh, let's do that again. Let's do that again just to make sure we've got all the details. So I'm going to get my black arrow tool. Up oh, yet? Yeah, now I've selected my stitching. I'm going to go to my reflect tool. I'm going to hold on the Alt key and click on the center. Preview and copy. Now, as soon as I've done that, if I select my black arrow tool, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to send everything on this side to the back. Because it fastens this way, we need to make sure that this part of the jacket goes behind. So we're going to right click, arrange, send to the back. And that should be it for that. So we're just going to delete this strap here, this um, tab because we don't need it on that side. So now we've got both sides of our garment. The next bit I'm going to do is I'm going to draw in the back panel, and then we're going to take a break and draw all the other bits, all the other components that need to go onto this jacket. So, the first thing I'm going to draw is, I'm going to draw my back, pan, or my back neck of my collar. So I'm going to draw that straight off. And I'm going to drag that down slightly. I'm going to use my white arrow tool because I need to make sure that this shape is behind. So I'm going to drag it slightly outwards and make sure that it matches at the neck there. Then I'm going to get my black arrow tool and I'm going to right click, arrange, send to the back. So I'm going to, I'm making sure that when I fill my back collar that it will be behind and it won't interfere with the front part of the jacket. So showing there again, it's black arrow tool, right click, arrange, center the back. And then we need to do this bit that's here that's missing. So I'm gonna get my rectangle tool. And I'm just gonna draw a rectangle. I need to make sure that the rectangle actually, let me show you. It needs to fill this section in. So it doesn't matter what size it is, as long as it fills that section. And as long as it comes past the break line. So I've drawn my shape, I'm going to get my black arrow tool, and then I'm going to do right click, arrange, send to the back. So once I fill this shape in, all this and all the back neck will all be at the back. Okay, so we've got all our shape here. We're going to come back to this, as I said, as soon as we've finished all these components. We're going to fill it, and then we're going to put all the zips on. So don't stay away. Watch the next part, and you'll be able to complete the front and the back of this jacket. Thank you.